In this video, we'll cover the process of creating a stepped foundation using a two-part wall called a pony wall in Chief Architect. Let's open up a sample project that already has a terrain and a crawl space foundation. You can see in this sample project the terrain has been created and with the crawl space, the foundation is going to need to be stepped so that it comes down below the terrain. I'm also going to take the upper and lower wall create a pony wall out of this so that the brick is partially covering the concrete. Let's begin the process in an elevation view. I'm going to move back over into the floor plan view with the elevation camera. I'm going to cut an elevation and in the elevation view the first thing I want to do is I want to turn on the terrain perimeter in the layer set. So let's open up the layer set. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type the word terrain in and I want to make sure that I turn on the terrain perimeter. I'm also going to turn on the terrain features that will show the sidewalk and other components. The line that represents the terrain you can see is somewhat of a curve. If you don't have a terrain perimeter you can also approximate this by drawing a CAD line. Sometimes I'll do that. Come over here draw a line that represents the upper terrain and I might make a copy of that slide that down for the frost line let's say maybe 24 inches and now I have an upper and a lower bound that just represents the terrain if you don't want to go through the effort of creating your terrain perimeter. Using the terrain perimeter or the CAD guidelines I'm going to now select the wall when you select the wall, be sure that you actually have the wall selected, not the room. You can see in the lower left hand corner of my screen that it says polyline produced by the 3D wall editor. If it says room, you may need to go to the next object. You can do that by pressing the tab key. Make sure you have the wall selected. Once the wall is selected, I'm just going to simply pull this down and it might be easier if I toggle on my crosshairs. Now that the bottom of the wall is actually below that frost line on the far left hand section of that wall and I'm going to go through and use the break tool put a few breaks in this wall make some adjustments and then we'll turn it into a pony wall. While the wall is still selected in the lower edit menu is the tool called break. I'll select that tool and I'm going to come over here and go ahead and put a break in and I'm also going to put a couple more breaks maybe over here. These are arbitrary. I'm now going to pull the wall up and let's use that guideline and I may also put one more break in this area over here. And I'm just going to pull this up so that it's just slightly above that terrain line and we'll go ahead and pull this one up. And I'm going to go ahead and snap this onto the other wall then I'm going to select the other wall segment and just pull that down just a little bit so that it's below the frost line. If I toggle on my temporary dimensions off to the right hand side of my menu, I can use the temporary dimensions and position this exactly. So I'll go ahead and set this to be at 9 foot 6. Come over to the next segment. I'm going to set that to be 7 foot 6. The next segment set that one to be at five foot six and then we'll leave the final one since it matches the existing foundation you may see the other footing sticking out we'll need to come around the back of the house and make a similar change now that I have the bottom of the wall established I'm going to go ahead and open up this wall let's double click on it and on the wall types panel I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the option to make this a pony wall the lower wall type I'm going to leave it as the 8 inch concrete stem wall. The upper wall type, I'm going to set that as a brick 6 style wall. The elevation information, I'm going to be making some adjustments in the elevation view, so I will leave those as they are set. As the change is made, you can see the upper portion of the wall is now selected. I'll use the break tool, and if I hover over this, you can see that the shortcut for the break is a number 3 on the keyboard. So I don't have to keep coming down and selecting that. I'm going to come over 
we'll click a few arbitrary selections. Let's go ahead and pull that down. You see the line that I've drawn as a placeholder for the terrain. We'll use that to snap, come back over, use the number three on the keyboard for a break. Pull this down until it snaps onto that temporary terrain line. And maybe one more in this area. We'll go ahead and pull that down and pull that in. You can use your temporary dimensions if you want to set this exactly. We'll go ahead and set this to be six feet. And you should also be able to do this in the horizontal side. So if I wanted to set that to be let's say exactly six foot four inches, then you can be very precise in setting those dimensions up for both the horizontal positioning and vertical positioning on that stepped wall. Last change, I'm going to go ahead and select this area in here and we'll just pull that up so that it is above the terrain. Now if I go back over into the floor plan view, I'm going to see step indicators in the floor plan view. I also want to come in and take a 45 degree section so that I can match up the back wall. You see the footing sticking out. I want that footing to come down and match this side of the footing. Back into the floor plan view, you see the step indicators on the foundation. If I turn on the automatic exterior dimensions, these dimensions, if I click on it, can snap those to the step indicators. Grab the extra diamond, pull that onto the step indicator. One last one, and pull that onto the step indicator. So you can use this information to detail out your foundation plan. You can also dimension the details for your stepped walls in an elevation view, as I have here in this example. Using the cross section tool, let's go ahead and take an elevation view. I'm going to do this at a 45 degree or so angle. This is going to allow me to see both sides of the design. I can click on the wall. Let's go ahead and pull this down until I get a snap indicator. Now I know that foundation is exactly aligned from the footing. Open up the wall and we'll make the change on the wall type. Make it a pony wall. Change it to a brick six and then I can make the adjustment on this wall if I wanted to pull it down, maybe pick up that snap on the other side. May need to make an adjustment with the terrain over here if I needed to step that. And then we do the exact same thing on the other side of the design. So let's go back into the foundation. Take a elevation view of this side. Zoom in a little bit. Click on the wall. Go ahead and pull that down until it snaps. Go ahead and take this wall type, turn it into a pony wall, and we'll use it as a brick six. And then with the break, let's go ahead and create a break in here. And then we'll pull that down uh, just a little bit lower. And now I've got that set up and we can close up some of those elevation views. And as I close that elevation view, you can see that we're seeing that back wall. Since I took a full elevation, versus a back clip elevation to crop that out, I might be able to make that adjustment in the camera view as we rotate around and we take a look at where that wall is. I might be able to zoom in here. Let's go ahead and use our break tool, number three on the keyboard. I'm going to put a break somewhere in this wall. Go ahead and pull it up and we'll see if we can get our snap indicator right in here. And now we've stepped that foundation one of the things that we might also do is take a look at the below grade lines back in the first elevation view. You see how we have that elevation view. Everything below the terrain is a solid line. In your Edit Active View tool is a panel for below grade. When I select the override color, override line style, override line weight, these are all different than the main layer that is controlling the way the foundation looks. And if we close this dialog, you can see now that those below grade lines are now dashed anything that is below your terrain. You can also set that if we go back into the edit active view to use the terrain perimeter or an absolute height. Easier to do this on a step foundation with the terrain perimeter since an absolute height may not work well with the slope that we have going on on this side of the design. When using a pony wall, 
in your floor plan display, you may want to show both wall types simultaneously. In this foundation plan, I currently am only showing the lower wall type of the concrete 8 inch stem wall. In the edit active view, you can come in underneath the general panel and you can control the way a pony wall will display. Currently it is set to the lower wall. You can display the upper and lower wall and a few different options. You might display the upper wall outline over the lower wall and now you can see that line as I zoom in a little bit closer you can see that line that represents the stick framed brick wall over the top of that stem wall. That wraps up this video on creating a step foundation using a pony wall. To learn more, please see our other videos, our knowledge base, or the built in help file. Thanks for watching.